Oh boy, am I glad I live next door to a vacant lot. Welcome to the Daily Need today to look at classic films, modern cinema, and the world of professional wrestling. And today, we're talking about the 1989 Tom Hanks movie, The Burbs. Let me explain why I'm watching this one today. Um, when I was growing up, my dad had a VHS tape that was four hours long. It had two movies he taped for TV, or he taped off the TV, rather. The first one is one of my all-time favorite movies, um, Hot Shots Part Two. And the second film on that tape was The Burbs. And I watched this tape so often, made my friends borrow it, all that, but all for that first movie. And every time the credits would roll and The Burbs would start up, click the TV off, didn't care. Don't know why my dad said it was funny, but never, you know, sat down and watched it. So, you know, for Father's Day, Dad, I watching The Burbs. And I didn't listen to you before, and I apologize for this movie. It's hysterical. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a, like a transcendent comedy. It's not like a game changer. There's a reason it hasn't been remade yet. Um, and like nobody really talks about it anymore because it's not like it's not like Ghostbusters or other great comedies that came out in the uh, late '80s. But it is very very fun, and it's a great concept. Um, for those who are unfamiliar, the film follows uh, Tom Hanks and his buddies in their cul-de-sac and they have these strange neighbors who have recently moved in and they're up to something. So, series of Home Alone-esque escapades trying to break in and find out what's going on only to realize, psych, it was nothing, they're just weird people and they were just being jerks and then psych, just kidding, there's bodies in their trunk and they were right. Um, and it's, it sets up so well this like idyllic um, suburban life and what happens when you throw a wrench in the system um, and then it, like it builds it builds the world of their cul-de-sac very well and it, I love that the movie never leaves the cul-de-sac almost everything takes place either outside or in one of two or maybe three houses and I like that I like that it's a self-contained world, and I like that all these characters have like their quirk and they're easily recognizable. You have the military guy who's always waving his flag. You've got the guy who's um, the conspiracy theorist guy. Um, Tom Hanks would be like just the everyman. You got the, the teenager who's just wants to watch the world burn. Like it's a great mix of people um, that leads to some interesting situations, and, and it's very enjoyable to watch the the shenanigans that they get into to try and figure out what's going on here. Um, the one thing I didn't like is that I think the film should have ended about eight, nine minutes sooner than it did. Um, towards the end of the film, they, they blow up the neighbor's house only to find that, you know, there was no body. The guy they thought they killed was just had heart palpitations and was in the hospital and he just came home and they were wrong. They find that they were wrong. And Tom Hanks has this great monologue about, he's yelling to his friend, and he's saying, like, the, we are the people that you're worried about. We're the ones, we threw trash in the street, we're harassing them, and he accepts the fact that he messed up and he's going to jail. And I thought that was a really smart, um, progressive way to end a movie uh, 26 years ago. Like, yeah, the good guy's not the good guy. And, and he's just harassing these completely innocent strangers. And he's accepted the fact that he's messed up, he's going to accept his punishment. I really liked that. I liked the character arc that he had there. Going, like, bouncing back and forth, and then when he finally goes full in on the conspiracy, he finds out he's wrong and, and realizes his mistake and tries to redeem himself. Even telling the doctor, I, when I get out of jail, I'm going to help you rebuild your house. Like, I can, I can help. I, I want to change my ways. And I really appreciated that. And then the film continued and the doctor tried to kill him and they found all the bodies and he admitted to killing this other family that had been there before and uh, kind of threw it away. But I also understand it. You, you kind of want to end a comedy on a happy note. You don't want to end a comedy on, you know, a, like a prison sentence. It's not a, a good way to end a comedy. Um, you can get away with it more so now, I think, but in 1989 that wasn't how you did it. A uh, major studio film, you're not going to end it sad. And I understand that. I just think it could have been a lot stronger had they ended it there instead of letting the film continue, if that makes sense. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed it. Tom Hanks is just freaking charming. Um, Carrie Fisher is adorable. 
as as his wife. Um, the guy who plays the doctor, he's in everything. I cannot remember. Is it Henry Gibson, I want to say? I'm probably completely wrong. Um, he is great in everything he's in. Um, there are not too many big names in the cast, but like Corey Feldman, like the biggest name of the 80s and no other time period. Like, But everybody f plays their role really well and is well cast. And I, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Um, not going to add it to like my list of all-time greats, but I'm glad I watched it. It was a good way to spend the afternoon. Yes. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about uh, the Burbs. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Daily Needs. You can like, share, and subscribe to this video. You can leave a comment, comment section below. Tell me some horrible neighbor stories you have. That'd be cool. Do that. Um, and until tomorrow, 